Remember back in school when you draw stick figures on the corners of your notebook pages, flip them really fast and watch them move? Yeah, for about 20 years, that was the extent of my animation career. Because let's be real, until very recently, if you wanted to tell a story through animation, you had two choices. You either spent four years in art school learning how to draw hands, which is impossible, by the way, or you spent a fortune hiring a studio, but we are living in a wild time, my friends. That barrier, it's gone. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to take a random idea in your head and turn it into a fully animated cartoon by the end of the day. No expensive software, no drawing skills, and definitely no stick figures. We're gonna build a workflow that actually works. Let's dive in. Welcome to the ultimate beginner's guide. Today is special because we are unlocking a superpower. Now, usually, Creating an animation video is a nightmare. You need one tool for images, another for video, another for voice. Next thing you know, you have 50 tabs open and five different subscriptions draining your bank account. We aren't doing that. We're going to keep it lean. We're going to use an all-in-one platform called OpenArt. Think of it as your production studio, casting director, and editing suite all rolled into one. It simplifies the messy part of AI so we can focus on the creative part. I've dropped a link below so you can follow along. For this demo, however, our goal is to build a simple three scene story about a young adventurer named Kai who finds a treasure map. I just want to show you the process. Follow along and you'll have a blueprint to create any story you can imagine. Before we start clicking buttons, here is the roadmap. We're keeping it to five simple steps. The story. We'll get AI to write our script because staring at a blank page is painful. The world. We'll design our character, Kai. The magic. We'll turn those still images into video. The voice. We'll give Kai a voice. The assembly. We put it all together. Ready? Let's get to work. Step one, crafting the story with AI. Every great animation starts with a story. If you already have one, awesome. But if you don't, there's no need to stare at a blank page. We can use an AI writing assistant to help us build the narrative foundation. The trick for your first project is to keep it simple. A beginning, a middle, and an end. Three scenes is perfect. I'm going to use a straightforward prompt. I'll ask an AI chat tool to write a very short story for a 30 to 60 seconds animation. The story should be about a brave young adventurer named Kai who discovers a magical item in his attic. I'll ask for it to be broken down into three distinct scenes with clear visual descriptions and one line of narration for each. Here's the prompt. Write a short three scene animated story script for a 30 second video. The main character is Kai, a curious 10 year old boy. The tone should be adventurous and magical. For each scene, provide a visual description and one line of narration. And here is the result it gave me. This is perfect. It's simple, visual, and gives us a clear roadmap. We have our character, our scenes, and our narration. Now, let's bring this world to life. Step two, designing your world with Nano Banana Pro. This is probably the most critical step for making your animation look cohesive, creating a consistent character. We want our hero, Kai, to be recognizable in every single frame. This is where many beginner AI animations fall flat, with characters that seem to morph and change from one scene to the next. We're going to tackle that head on with a specific workflow. First, we need to create our main character with a master prompt. A detailed prompt is your best friend here. Don't just say a cartoon boy. You need to give the AI specific non-negotiable details. Here's the master prompt I'll use to create Kai. A full body portrait of a young hero rendered in Pixar's signature cartoon style, featuring bright eyes that sparkle with curiosity and determination. The character has tousled hair, a confident smile, and is dressed in a colorful adventure outfit. The background features a soft gradient with warm golden lighting that creates a gentle rim light around the character, emphasizing their vibrant colors and three-dimensional form typical of Pixar's acclaimed animation style. Now, let me log into OpenArt and go to the images section, go to create images and choose the desired model. I am going to choose Nano Banana Pro for this. I'm specifying his age, clothing, hair, eye color, expression, the background, and most importantly, the art style. Let's generate that.
The results are in and this one looks perfect. It captures that adventurous spirit. Now, here's the key to consistency. We will use this image as a reference image for every other scene we generate. This tells the AI, no matter what else I ask for, make the character look like this guy. Let's create our three scenes from the script. For scene one, I'll upload our new image of Kai as a character reference, which is otherwise called Omni Reference inside OpenArt. Then I'll write a new prompt for the scene itself. Scene one, prompt. The boy from the reference image, now in a dusty sunlit attic. He is looking into an open wooden chest with a look of wonder. The attic is filled with old boxes and forgotten treasures. The lighting is warm with sunbeams cutting through the dust. The art style must remain a vibrant, colorful cartoon animation. I've described a new environment and action, but reinforced the character by using the reference image and repeating the art style. We can choose the aspect ratio from here. Let's generate it. Incredible. You can see it's clearly Kai, but now he's in the attic, interacting with the chest. The AI has successfully placed our character into a totally new setting. While it's not always perfect on the first try, this reference method gives you a massive head start. Now, we'll do the same for scenes two and three. I'll keep our Kai image loaded as the reference for both. Scene two, prompt. The boy from the reference image now standing at the edge of a magical forest at sunset. He is holding a glowing blue compass. The forest is filled with huge ancient trees and glowing moss. The lighting is golden hour with long shadows. Scene three, prompt. The boy from the reference image standing in a forest clearing at night. He looks in awe at a waterfall flowing into a crystal clear pond. The glowing blue compass he holds illuminates a hidden cave entrance underwater. The scene is lit by the moon and the compasses glow. After a few minutes, we have our three core scenes. In each image, Kai is highly consistent, but his environment and actions have changed to match our story. This is the power of a reference-based workflow. Before moving on, I'll save all these images into a folder for our project. Trust me, Staying organized helps a ton. Step three, bringing images to life with Kling. With our scenes ready, it's time to make them move. We're now heading over to our second type of tool, which is an AI video generator tool. Now, we have multiple options here. One is to use Kling AI or another AI video tool inside OpenArt, which is the recommended method if you are just starting out, or use another video generator entirely. By the way, if you want an easy to use, beginner friendly tool to create simple videos, I have got a tool that is available for a lifetime deal. The link is in the description. Okay, let me go to the video section and choose image to video. Now, in the beginning, I said that we are gonna generate background music in the latest step, but with the recent upgrade inside Kling, we don't need to to that. Kling's latest model will generate the necessary background audio along with the video for us. I will first upload the image and select Kling 2.6 from here. Once it's uploaded, I get a few options. I can set the duration of the clip. For a story like this, five seconds per scene is a great starting point. I'll pick five seconds. Next, I need the background audio for this. Let's select this. I am going to enter a simple prompt mentioning what I want the character in the scene to do. Now, we can also add dialogues in this prompt if we want. I am not going to do that here. This particular generation is going to cost me 200 credits and hit generate. I have already generated this clip, so won't be generating it again. The AI gets to work, looking at all the different elements in the image. It might decide to add a slow push in on Kai's face or make the dust motes in the sunbeams gently float. While that first clip is processing, you can usually upload the next two scenes and get them going in parallel, which is a huge time saver. After a few moments, the first clip was ready. Let's see it. Wow. And just like that, our static image is now a living scene. The camera slowly zooms towards the chest and Kai's eyes subtly widen. 
There's even a gentle shimmer on the glowing compass. This is the magic of image to video. It takes your artwork and turns it into an animated shot. Sometimes you may need to try a generation more than once to get a result you love, but it saves you from learning a single thing about keyframes or motion paths. Our other clips are now finished too. We have successfully animated our story. Now, let's give it a voice. Step four, giving your characters a voice and sound. Our animated scenes look amazing and they have background music as well. Audio is half of the experience. Now, we need narration to really pull the viewer in. Many tool aggregators like OpenArt now include text-to-speech and AI sound effect generation. I'll navigate to the text-to-speech feature. I'll copy the first line from our script. In his grandfather's attic filled with relics of the past, Kai discovered something that wasn't from this world. Now I can choose a voice. The libraries are usually extensive. For a children's story, I want a warm, friendly, storyteller type voice. And click generate. And in seconds, it produces an audio file of our narration. I'll repeat this for the other lines, creating separate audio files. Now we have all the pieces, animated clips, narration, and sound effects. It's time for the final assembly. Step five, the final assembly in the editor. This is the last step where we put on our editor hat. You can use a free editor like CapCut for this. I like to use Camtasia or Filmora. We'll assemble all of our assets on the timeline. If you've never used a video editor, don't sweat it. These are designed to be super intuitive. The editor is laid out with tracks or layers for video, voice, sound effects, and music. First, I'll drag my video clips onto the video track in the right order, attic, forest, then waterfall. Next, the narration. I'll drag the narration audio file onto the voice track and line it up with the first clip. I'll do the same for the other two, placing them under their matching scenes. The story is coming together, but we can add a little more polish. I'll add simple transitions between the video clips. This will make the jump from one scene to the next feel much smoother. Finally, every great story needs a soundtrack. You can use any royalty-free music library for this. The YouTube audio library is quite extensive as well. I personally use Upbeat. I'll search for something adventurous, whimsical, and magical. This track is perfect. I'll drag it onto the music track. And here's a crucial tip. I'm gonna lower the music volume to about 20%. You want it to sit in the background and not overpower the narration. Dialogue should always be king. All right, let's preview the whole thing. In his grandfather's attic, filled with relics of the past, Kai discovered something that wasn't from this world. The compass didn't point north. It pointed to adventure. And as the sun set, Kai realized the greatest treasures aren't made of gold, but of undiscovered magic. I found it thanks to Smart Webpreneur. Ah! <laughs> so, there you have it, the entire process, step by step. We started with nothing but an idea, and using a few incredible types of AI tools inside one main tool brought a story to life. I will leave the links to all the tools mentioned in this video in the description below. Please do check them out. Thanks so much for watching. Now go create something amazing.